Hey guys, what's up? It's Sama here, and today I'll be showing you how to make themes for your iPod Touch, iPad, or iPhone easily without going without going to Photoshop and um, making it really complicated. So what you need to do is go to this website, codeteam.com, and make a free account. So uh, what this website is that it gives you an emulator, a uh, user interface, which is pretty easy for the people who don't know how to design themes in Photoshop and all that stuff. So um, and you can choose icons and make your own themes. So if you just we um, I've clicked on build a theme now, so it will show me a user interface. And uh, some days ago they have also added support for iPad 2 resolution screen and iPhone and iPod Retina display. And I'm pretty sure that this theme will look gorgeous when it will be on my Apple Touch 4G. Over uh, here, it gives you an option. What do you want? So I I need it for my Apple Touch 4 generation. So I'll select Apple Touch and Retina display since it's a 4G model and it has a Retina display. So I'll just press OK. Here it gives you different options. Uh, for for example, the first one is background. Um, you can uh, select the video wallpapers like this one, which shows a video sign. It it tells you that it's a video wallpaper. So right now, um, there are these are there are a lot of wallpapers, and we can choose one if I like. Okay, so this thing won't be perfect, but I'm just it's just for a demo, so I'll try to do my best in this short time. All right, so this one looks pretty cool set and uh, yeah I want it only for home screen okay it will ask you how many pages do you want to apply to you, you want it for page number one two uh, or all, all all nine pages on the iPod so yes I want it all nine pages you know, so you will see that your background has already changed now this is the real fun part so to change the icons you have to click on the icon on the iPod and then it will go uh, it will go to these icons and you can choose any icon you want so here uh, okay I'll choose this one this is for FaceTime okay calendar calendar okay. however you pronounce it you can just go down and there are a wide variety of icons which you can choose from and they actually look pretty neat so I'll just go ahead and choose this one no it doesn't look cool okay look for another one and also if you have icons in your uh, in your computer you can also upload them okay I'll go with this one if you go to photos can ch check the photos okay and here it says like little it says HD which means that the icon is HD and it's to take full advantage of your retina display just choose it choose the HD icons Yeah, the icon that I chose for calendar was not HT. Hmm. Okay, so I'll choose this one. Okay, camera icon. Here you can see that a lot of icons are HD. I'll just choose this one because it looks pretty cool. And there are uh, icons for every uh, every application almost. Okay, so for YouTube, I'll choose this one. Stocks. I think this will look cool. Maps. So um, I'll just pause the video here, and you actually get the point, like how to change the icons. I'll just change the icons, and I'll be right back. Now I've almost changed all of my icons that you can see here: music, mail, Safari, videos, and other icons are completely themed now. And if I move to the other page, you can also see that I have selected all of my icons now uh, there's another cool feature if you have other applications in your iPod for example Facebook or Dropbox or um, any camera application like Hipsmatic games like Angry Birds or whatever you can just click here add icon to home screen or you can click here add icon and it will ask you the application name if I write here Facebook F A C E B O O K it will tell me that how many applications are there I'll click on the Facebook now this icon will be added to my screen if now if I click on this it will show me the uh, the icons that are already available for my Facebook application which I can choose so 
this is the icon I want so this is also very so you can do it also uh, for your all of your applications so um, I'll just add an icon now if I want for example um, if I want draw box I, I'm not doing it on purpose but okay uh, so I'll just for the sake of demonstration I'll upload an image I'll go to upload and here it will show me the icons that I have already uploaded so I'll just go to uh, upload upload here navigate to my icons okay this one looks pretty cool so okay I want this one as my Dropbox icon now here to apply upload the icon drag and drop them into that icon into the device so I'll just drag it and put it on Dropbox It did show me the error before. Come on. Okay, so now it's the Dropbox error has been added. So now um, my Springboard theming is pretty much complete. So there's all there's also more cool features. If you go up, you see lock screen. You can click on the lock screen, and here it will show you a couple of sliders that it's already it already has so um, if I want a custom slider I'll click on this and my slider will automatically be changed if you can look here slider backgrounds so you can also look for black backgrounds the uh, actual background so if I click here this will make it transparent this will make it blue glass um so I think I, okay I'll choose one Okay, this one looks pretty cool. Okay, so th this one is pretty good, and you can also go to unlock te uh, unlock text. You can click on highlight, and you can uh, actually change the color how it looks like. If you click on brown, you can see that the moving arrows, uh, the reflection that moves on your text is colored. If you click on purple it will make it purple so right now I'll just stick with a real one and you can also change the text for example if you want slide to unlock you can just uh, write ok let's go now slide to power off buy and slide to answer is only there's no for iPod I guess there's also only for FaceTime so I'll just write hi ok so here here's the theme Okay, so the for the slider backgrounds is actually the background. Uh, yeah, it's actually the background. I've already showed it. So if you go to status bar, you can change the look how the status bar looks. There are a wide variety of options how you can how you want to make it like. Okay, so I'll just choose one that I like. Okay, this one looks pretty good. So now if I just go to home screen I can I can uh, change the wallpaper of my lock screen too. You have to go to home screen, you can go to backgrounds, browse, you can look for backgrounds or you can also upload them. I've already uploaded uh one home uh one uh, wallpaper before which is from the theme B U F F Infinity. Uh it's available uh, in uh, Mod My and it's a free theme it's available in Syria so if I just set it and set it as lock screen it will set the wallpaper as my lock screen now if I navigate to the lock screen tab you can see that my lock screen now looks pretty cool and now finally I think that's pretty much it so the next part I'll be showing you how to uh, uh, actually all oh, okay I'll do it in this part so now I'll be showing you how to um, transfer this theme to your device or you can also submit it to Cydia if you want to submit it you can say save changes uh, theme name so, uh, um, theme description uh, theme for user tags and uh, you can provide whatever you want so this is actually the theme description and uh, when you do it, it your theme will be automatically 
upload it in Cydia. If you don't want to upload it, you can just click the button which says public and it will not upload. I don't mind if mine is uploaded so. Okay, you can also choose the category, I'll not go there now. So you can press save and lastly you can just download this thing okay when you have download you can you can download uh, a zip file as a raw file or if you want to transfer it wirelessly to your device you have to have code themed application installed on your iPod which is uh, iPod or iPhone which is available in Syria so right now I'll just download it as a zip file and I'll download it to my download folder and as you can see it's not a really big folder it's like 3.3 megabytes now I'll go to my downloads folder and I'll extract it okay where is it team yeah there you go this is the folder you can open it in Windows Explorer or whatever you want WinZip, WinRAR okay I'll just drag and drop it into my downloads folder and now it's extracted okay here uh, you can see some wooden theme which I just made you can delete the theme.zip folder now if you go into the folder you can see that it has already made uh, the things which in, which you had to made make manually if you are making a theme you can also check the screenshots here's a screenshot for the springboard and this is the wallpaper so, and the bundle images whatever so um, now you have to SSH into your device if you don't know what SSH is you can uh, go to Google and you have to write iFunbox and you can go on the first link and download it for your device and with this you can just SSH things into your iPod now I'll not go in detail what SSH is but it's just like um, when you have to transfer something to your phone without using iTunes and it's mainly used for transferring themes and jailbreak tweaks etc when you download it, it's, uh, when you have downloaded it install it and click on the iPhone box folder now I'll just connect my iPod to the computer okay yeah now I have connected my iPod to the computer and here you can see it says Osama's iPod if you click on it you can go here then go to raw file system then go to library and then go to themes okay when then you can see all your themes that are present in winterboard oh, I don't want iTunes so I'll just close it okay now the iTunes is closed you can also do it with iTunes open but I just don't like iTunes open so I just closed it because it starts syncing my iPod so now what you have to do is when you're in iPhone box uh, and you have gone to the theme folder go to where your theme is uh, where it says Osama wooden theme you have to drag it and drop it in the folder here you can see it's done and now you click on this save device removal and remove Osama iPod alright so um, now I'll shift to my camera and tell you and show you how to how this theme looks like on my iPod yeah so I'll just shift to my